Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Blog. I am Alex and here is... I am Robert Treadwin from Military Antiques. And I would like to ask you about some of your items because, okay. I, because I would like to buy uh, some of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and um, there are three banners. Three yeah. banners that I would like to ask about. Right. Well, these are all vehicle mm -hmm. um, flags for the German. This first one is for the German army. This was the vehicle um, flag that would go on staff cars and Kubelwagens mm -hmm. and any military vehicle that would be carrying a German army officer in. Mm -hmm. And the double-sided, and that would have fitted to a bar at the front of the, f like a fender, something like that, and dedicate it. Yeah, and it's interesting work here. Yes, yes, it's a Bevo, Eagle and Swastika mm -hmm. on army field grey background. And when we say Bevo, it's uh, like... Sewn, uh, yeah, yes. like a decorated sewn. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you find with a, um, a Perspex foul weather, what they call foul weather cover. And that... Uh, in, in leather cover? It's, it's like a clear mm -hmm. celluloid cover oh, okay. like this. And the idea being to protect the flag against the weather, the mm -hmm. rain and the damp, which would damage the flag. I see it a little bit damaged, but... Yeah, well these were a popular souvenirs amongst British soldiers mm -hmm. because they could easily be liberated off the vehicle and pulled uh -huh. away. And that's probably how this one turned up in England. Liberating is uh, very... Liberated. Stolen. <laughs> yeah, li liberated is... Stolen. Yeah. But liberated is hurt yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, how often do you find uh, they're, like they're quite scarce. The, the most common is this one, the army mm -hmm. one. And then you get Luftwaffe. And the Navy had a very similar thing. But on the Navy one, this is blue with a yellow eagle. Mm -hmm. Done the with same. Colors. And same, same side. In fact, we have a naval one coming from a British officer who liberated it at Kiel mm -hmm. because the British uh -huh. were there. Yeah. And another one is... Oh, this uh, this one is interesting. This one still has its foul weather cover. And this one is for a fire police mm -hmm. officer. So this would have been taken off of a fire engine or again a staff car carrying German fire officers. And colors of uh, German uh, fire police is red. Yeah, uh, is a red eagle. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the German police is green. Mm -hmm. But the fire police have red. I suppose it's to represent the flames of the fire, mm -hmm. maybe. And, um, and this is the foul weather cover for this one is on it. Yeah, and it's a better condition of... Yeah, uh, better canvas. condition, because obviously this protects it yeah, more against the weather. Interesting too. Yeah, interesting. Somebody, so, somebody maybe British soldier uh, liberated um, fireman car. Fire yeah, station. maybe a fire yes. station, yeah, yeah. And uh, it should be... Again, yeah, there would be a pole there mm -hmm. when it was fitted to the fender, so it would be like that mm -hmm. on either sides. And this one is political from political leader? Political car. leader, yeah. And this again has its original weather cover and would have had a pole. And this would be like carrying high-ranking political members who wear this sort of cap. Mm -hmm. And that this is a political leader yeah. again and that's interesting detail yeah still uh, stamps, has stamps here uh, buttons like in uh, Prim. Prim Prim yeah yes, which Prim also made the press studs for the German paratrooper yes smart paratroopers for yeah. for uh, canteens uh, yeah, covers yeah. For and canteens. the equipment yeah they would have just manufactured these mm -hmm. for all different sort of uses yeah but this is one of the rarer of the flags of the period yeah and it's original original power, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and see. again but this because being political is much nicer quality wire work yeah I see. yeah that's why i would like to buy it <laughs> oh, okay yeah well it is a rare a rare flag one that's all sticking in there now in collection these uh flags are 
like symbol symbol of uh, liberation yeah symbol of course of, yeah. yeah and also you get collectors who collect military vehicles like who have got a staff car then they want these to go on it mm -hmm. to complete the vehicle okay that's very interesting things and a uh, couple more yeah you have yeah, what this one's Stahlhelm? Stahlhelm, which is the German World War I veterans. Mm -hmm. So it has the German First War colors, the flag, and the, the German helmet for Stahlhelm, but with the swastika behind. And this swastika, this emblem, denazificated by German helmet. Yeah, for <laughs> Stahlhelm, for veterans of World War I. Mm -hmm. And it, hence they called it Stahlhelm, which is still helmet. And how much is it? That, uh, that one is 300 pounds 300 pounds that's a range of a clip yeah. and a small one the other one that's interesting this one um, was produced for bicycles mm -hmm. hence it's a lot smaller um, bicycles not so motorcycles not, not, or maybe a motorcycle but usually bicycles um, and this is for the town a rush party day mm -hmm. and these would have been sold to commemorate one of the big German rallies. Mm -hmm. 1934. Yeah, and then on the back is the swastika. And it's 285 pounds. Yeah, 285 pounds. But each town like Munich, Nuremberg, all would have had one of these mm -hmm. flags at the time. And this one is exceptionally nice condition. Mm -hmm. I prefer vehicle. Vehicle pennants, yeah. yeah. Well, you have a chance of finding a staff car. Yeah. <laughs> maybe in Russia. Maybe many were left in Russia. Um, yes, there, there are a lot of parts of yeah. <laughs> that car. Yeah, and I'm sure vehicles. I'm sure vehicles. And one more question I have. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, because of, of Because of you came from um, United Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, I would like to ask you about your... Oh, this, this is interesting. British this is idea. a British naval midshipman. Mm -hmm. Sturk, which um, used by the British Navy in 1914, up to 1914, mm -hmm. and they carried on board the ship. What's rare with this, it has the correct knot, dagger knot, which is miniature. It's exact, the sword knot is exactly the same, but slightly larger. And the unique thing with this one is that the blade is in mint condition, which probably means that the officer that had this one was stationed on land and never went to sea mm -hmm. and it remained in good condition because nearly everyone you find the blades are pitted because the salt air corrodes the blade yeah. whereas this one as you can see is perfect my father yes. wore uh, the naval dagger because yeah. he was a Marine? In the navy, yes, yeah. in the navy, and uh, his dagger in very bad condition because of uh, because of the he, sea he was, air. Yes, yeah, surfing U boats, and uh, every time when you down and up from yeah. the U boat, you <laughs> beat yeah, your they bang it dagger. against the yes, wall. Yes, yes, That's yes. what happens with the German navy daggers mm -hmm. because it was worn much lower. They catch and swing. Yes, so all metal dead, bars. Always, but this one is exceptional. The condition is mm -hmm. good everywhere, and interesting. It has the original owner's initials mm -hmm. on there, so maybe it could be Did traced. Maybe. Yeah. That's interesting. And piece. very similar as well, if you notice, to the German Navy swords with the lion, the lion exactly cap. the same. And WKC that made the German um, naval sword also made British swords. Oh, really? Pre war, yeah. Oh, WKC and Zollingen firms uh, yeah, yeah. did a they lot of... Yeah, they produce swords for everybody. For Russians for, too. For Russia, England, Mexico, South mm -hmm. America, Germany, yeah. everywhere. And what difference between um, this one for mm. uh, World War II? Midshipmen. Uh, uh, World War II, uh, they stopped wearing this. Uh, Only I, for I mean, dress occasion. I mean, this one, First World War? First World War. Yes, and uh, what difference between earliest model and... Uh, all, no, the all the no same, no difference, no difference. Mm -hmm. Just, just um, on the very early one, it has a Queen's crown mm -hmm. for Queen Victoria. And this crown it's is? It's a King's crown King's for George V. And uh, what period of uh, this crown? 1900 to 1914, around that. Ah, well, only 14 years? Yeah, yeah, 14, oh. 15 years. Okay. 
Uh, very, and, uh, very and, nice. and after this, a uh, crown was... Well, Queen's crown, but they don't wear these anymore. Mm. Yeah, okay. they only wear the sword, as far as I know, they only wear the sword now. Okay. I've never found one with a Queen's crown, mm -hmm. ever, so... Okay, thank you for explaining. Okay, no problem at all. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, show is closing and um, see you tomorrow. And Hopefully. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.